Okay, so this is Mage Skipping for Ulm. To set up Mage Skip, the first thing you're going to need is uh, these tiles marked. Uh, it's under the Tile Packs plugin, add Cox Ulm Standard. You'll get these tiles. As the person running Mage Skip, all you have to do is run from this tile to here, to here, and then back again, back, and then here, here. And you'll, you'll see uh, when we play it out. It, uh, this will only work in teams of two or greater, and in a duo, for instance, what we have here, your teammate needs to be standing on the melee tile over here, and after specking the me melee hand, he should be maging the mage hand until the mage hand is dead, especially if, if you're in a duo, because if you're in a duo, you're going to splash sometimes, which will mess up the rotation. To set up the mage skip, what you need to do is you're going to need to tank two hits on the, uh, and it needs to be turned for the second hit. So that's hit one. He turns his head. His head needs to be turned for the second hit. Second hit. That These hits can be anything as far as they can be prayer orbs, they can be burn with me, they can be firewall, that any of those count. So I run right, he's going to turn his head now. And then as soon as he turns his head, you're going to run back left. He's going to attack your teammate once. Now this is officially set up. This is mage skipping, it is set up now. And as soon as he turns his head back, you're going to walk in the middle. You're going to tank one hit, walk right. Turns his head, go back left, and repeat. So the only, uh, the only important part here is you can't run across as soon as he turns his head. You need to tank one hit in the middle every time he turns his head back to the mage hand side. All the while, as you can see, my teammate is maging the mage hand. If your team size is greater than two, you need to uh, position people accordingly. So you should always have more people uh, on the mage hand, more people running uh, head than you do on the melee hand. So let's say we have uh, five people, for instance. Five people is a good example. What we would have is we would have two people here. That's a great looking two there. Two people here and they can actually melee the melee hand, okay? Since we have so many people here, we're not gonna splash. So two people meleeing the melee hand. I'm still gonna be running. Uh, I'm gonna still gonna be skipping and the other players will just run the head. And I'll show you what that means. So second player can be here. Third player can be here. Uh, that way, if we get burned, you know, we don't uh, burn each other. So how are these uh, players gonna operate? So instead of tanking a hit in the middle, uh, they can just run across, all right? You only need to have one person tank a hit. So I'm still gonna tank a hit in this tile, but if we had an imaginary human uh, here, imaginary player, he, as soon as he sees the head turn this way, he can immediately go to the right side and take no damage. And then he will do the same thing when it happens on the other side. So he runs to the right side here, he's, he's waiting as soon as he, and now he runs all the way back left, just like me. So you only need to have one player tank a hit in the middle to keep uh, the skipping active. Okay, so a good way to tell if you messed up uh, the skip is if you get the three rotational special attacks. I call them rotational special attacks because they happen consistently on a rotation. That includes the crystal, that includes the teleport. Uh, so that like this special attack means that the rotation is messed up now uh, and you would have to reset it. So the crystal, uh, that comes up from the ground, this teleport one here, and then uh, the last one is the lightning, the walls of lightning that move through the arena. So let's say, I'm, I'm done with the hand here anyways, pretty much, but let's say I wanted to reset the rotation here. What you would have to do is you would have to tank two attacks after the special attack is over. So it's usually easiest to, to reset a crystal attack. Let's just pretend, for instance, that I messed up the rotation and I'm still on the left side and I'm getting crystalled. So, you're going to wait the same amount. So it's one hit. The first hit can be anywhere as long as the second hit he's facing mage hand side. So second hit. So if I was right here now and he was and his head was turned that way, he can't be facing in the middle. He needs to be turned completely. Second hit, I then run to the right side. His head's going to turn back this way. I'm going to run back left. His head's gonna turn back again after an attack, and then I'm gonna go middle, right, left, middle, right, right, and just gonna repeat. And that's mage skipping on ult. 